what asset class, if you could pick and choose, you know, starting out brand new, would you, cause I know right now city flats buying retail and industrial, but is that what you go after? Would you go after the multifamily stuff? Um, so I, um, I mean, after experiment with all asset classes from medical offices to student housing, to you know, everything in between. Um, uh, my current favorite asset classes are, you know, light industrial, uh, small bay industrial, uh, shallow bay, whatever you call it, flax. People have different names for it. And uh, it's number one choice in uh, neighborhood retail, unanchored neighborhood retail, strips. That's my number two favorite category. That's what we're mostly focused on right now. Uh, but really, it doesn't matter which asset you pick, You, as long as you know that asset class better than any person in uh, on planet Earth. Mm -hmm. You have pick any asset class and pick a territory. And you better be the number one most knowledgeable guy in that asset class, in that territory, in your market. That's when you're going to have extraordinary results. If you I've seen people who kind of know the entire county, who kind of know the entire MSA region, and the other you know a five block by 10 block area of your city. Maybe it's an industrial park. Maybe it's a neighborhood if you're doing residential, right? Know that five block by three block area better than any person on planet Earth. And I guarantee you, you can make more money in that little segment than some people trying to, you know, go in all over the town or go all over the state or go all over Southeast hunting for deals. Mm -hmm. You know, that makes specialization sense. and being an expert in the area usually yields from my experience, um, disproportionate uh, yield and return on your time and money. That makes sense.